And unfortunately, this became the number one song on U.S. iTunes. We have a problem in this country about race, and the biggest problem is we refuse to admit that it exists. Well, don't you think well, that a lot, of the, a lot of this big that's city, it, small yeah. town business is racist, is about race? The cities have yes, more black people than is. the small well, towns. It, it, I can't stand these women. I mean, ladies, I made a video about Jason Aldean, and, it, and it's obviously going kind of quasi-viral on my YouTube channel. But you know that the cackling hens on The View cannot go without making this about race. If you haven't watched the Jason Aldean song, and I'm going to play the clip from McScrugles, them, on The View. If you haven't watched the song, it's called In This Small Town, or like Try This In This Small Town, or Try That In A Small Town. And it's literally bringing up the violence that we saw in 2020, the bludgeoning of cops, uh, uh, robbery, stealing, thugging, looting, and all of those things we see pervasive in big cities. Where they, I mean, listen, man, you cannot deny that people were afraid. Gun sales in America in 2020 went up, went up astronomically. You can't, you can't deny that there was a lot of things that were happening and big cities weren't doing anything about it. People were just burning the city down. They weren't enforcing anything. But Jason Aldean comes up with a song that says, in a, try that in a small town, which everybody with a connected brainstem know that it's true. You go to you go to a small town in Texas and you think you're gonna go burn down the stores because you mad at something. But listen to these cackling hens try to justify or create a racial tension situation out of absolutely nothing. A absolutely nothing. It, it it literally it literally makes me just infuriated at how at how silly these women are. It makes me infuriated. But listen to the clip, and then I'm going to get my two cents um, as we go on. Roll the clip. Listen, I, listen, you know, there are lyrics in the song, and I think, you know, he talks about life in a small town, and it's different, you know, and he shows these images. He's got uh, folks uh, from the Black Lives Matter movement, and... He's talking about people taking care of each other. And I find it so interesting that it never occurred to Jason or the writers that that's what these folks were doing. What? What? That's what the... Listen, Jason Aldean is playing video footage of crimes. They're burning buildings. They're spitting in the face of police officers. People are getting robbed. Are you really that stupid to say that they what they were doing in the video that that Jason Aldean was playing, not what you think that was representing, but the actual footage you're saying that's consistent with small town behavior? They were taking care of the people in their town because they didn't like what they saw. Just hold on. I can't. I can't. Lord Jesus. They were taking care of people in their town. No, no. They were busting these people in to another city to burn it down. They, they are withdrawing businesses from communities because people were there acting a fool, looting, killing, stealing, thugging. They weren't. They, it wasn't their town. You can see any news clip. They're saying these people ain't even from here. They busting these people in and they're causing violence and leaving. Roll the clip. Like you talk about people taking care of each other in small towns. We do the same thing in big towns. You just have to realize that when you make it about Black Lives Matter, people kind of say, well, are you, are you talking about black people? What are you talking about here? He didn't say not one thing about Black Lives Matter. I don't even think there was a Black Lives Matter sign. It wasn't even a Black Lives Matter sign, I don't think, in his music video. They, they're projecting. They know, they know who was cutting up. Guys, you know what the sick thing is about? It's people like this, public figures that ordinary day man, woman, look up to. They're not the ones saying foolish things. How can this woman sit there comfortably and open her mouth? Wow! And not say, wow, when you say things about black man. Come on, guys. Is there, did J, J, Mr. Jason say anything about black lives? Come on. Like, the way I used to, I used to respect this woman before. Like, 
Why are even the people watching the view? I didn't even know that the view is now consists of we bunch of women that don't have sense anymore. Like I don't understand. Like who are even the people watching this? Come on. Ah, oh, this is annoying to watch. Cutting up. And they're projecting of each other, then it shouldn't be about Black Lives Matter. You should be able to show all the different things that have gone on in our country where people stood up and said no more. We do the same thing that small towns do. That's my two cents to that. I, I'm actually not going to give. All right, it's going to get stupider. I just want you to know if, if your IQ is already struggling, you finna lose. You finna lose a couple points on this one. You're going to turn into a Neanderthal listening to this fool. But just know that's what's going to happen. Give him the benefit of the doubt. And I'm pleased that you are. And well, I'm you, pleased you, that you, you are. Well, you do agree that he should be allowed to say I, whatever he wants. Because as a lawyer, when I put my legal hat on, yeah, okay. I don't believe in censorship. Right. However, this man is from Macon, Georgia. My father's from Augusta, Georgia, and Macon, Georgia. I both? spent many summers there. Yeah, both. I spent many summers mm -hmm. there. It is one of the most racist places in this country. Mm -hmm. You know how you know how inflammatory that is. Making Georgia and Augusta is the most racist place. Do you know how inflammatory that is? If a if a, and and we Stevie Wonder can see that it's probably bullcrap. I, I feel like I want to just fly there and and go go in the community and see how racist it is. Probably ain't racist whatsoever, but that's what these cackling hens do. And just imagine how hurt they would feel if they said. Chicago is the most ghetto place because all these black people there, it, they didn't destroy Chicago and it's ghetto. Everywhere where black people are, it's the most ghetto places ever. A white person say that, she'll fall out this chair and cry. But it's okay to, to, to paint an entire city, an entire small town of, of, of everybody being racist. So don't tell me that he knew nothing. And this lady got to be 50. So this is about 30 years ago. Okay. I'm about not, what that imagery meant say he did and what he uh, so I don't give him the benefit but I'm saying I don't along him with him more people should he also look at this idiot along with him everybody else you, you're a coward you are you a straight coward Keep right. the other Hell thing accountable. is that what I what was evoked for me which was you know I you're not going to get out of this town yeah. are those sundown yeah don't let the areas go down on because your there ass were, when here. there were times when black people my mother's in the audience today. Thank you for She's coming. Black. Um, she ain't black. Okay. What does your mother got to do? She ain't black. <laughs> and she not even from Georgia. She said her father was. Probably before he met her mama. All right. And my mother and father, because... And her son goes to Harvard, by the way. Or one of these Ivy League schools. But she won't take him out of there because the white people, she, okay, anyway. He don't go to the HBCU, I just want you to know that. They were an interracial couple, were run out of South Carolina by the KKK. So Augusta, Georgia, and whatever other place in Georgia is where she said is the most racist place on earth. But then she's talking about her dad was run out of, in the Carolinas. Lady, make your mind up. Make your mind up. You talking about Georgia, now you talking about somewhere else. And my father is still. Guys, to be frank, this was this is painful to watch. Like, why are people doing this? I don't know what is surprising me that that we need in public, like, huh? Scarred from that experience, and you are still scarred from that experience. Because your father's a coward. That's why he's still scarred from that experience. Fifty years ago, he's still crying because a white man was ran him out of the city. Shut up. Bro, so we're don't all tell, still scarred from yeah. experience. We all still scarred. Shut the front door. Clarence Thomas don't give up about what y'all talking about. He married to a white woman. All these people, I think that, I think what's her name married? Uh, Sonny Holston. Is she, she got a kid with a white man? Yeah. Look it up real quick. Sonny Holston. Oh, we, we all scarred. My mama still scarred for what the white man did. And they be marrying white people. We already know Lori Dirtyfoot married, married to a white woman. Don Lemon married to a white man. I don't even call it marriage. They're in a civil union with these people. Uh, you want to go down the list? Whoopi Goldberg. So Whoopi Goldberg's first husband was white. And she's talking about she's scarred. What about Sonny Holston? He mixed. He ain't even all the way. He, he mixed with something. She can't even get an all black man. She got to get a mixed dude. Talking about she's scared of the white man. I bet his parents are white. One of his parents is white. All right, come on. Let's keep talking. 
We scared. We still scarred. But y'all marrying white people. Get the shut the front door. Don't tell me that not only was he aware of what he was doing by using that imagery, he embraces that imagery. And unfortunately, this became the number one song on U.S. iTunes. We have a problem in this country about race, and the biggest problem is we refuse to admit that it exists. Well, don't you think well, that a lot, the of the, a lot of this that's big city, small yeah. town businesses races is about race? The cities have yes, more black people it. than the small well, towns. It, it, no it, reason it to separate race. big city people from small town no. people. That, to me, is the divisive part of this. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't. These people are so stupid. I can't take it. Now... Jason Aldean, which whom I met, and Candace Owens, and, and like Jason Aldean's wife and Candace Owens are incredibly good friends. What the fuck are y'all talking about? If the man was a racist and he wanna do imagery of black and brown bodies and looting and shooting and stealing and dealing, why is Candace Owens one of his best friends? She black. She wants to, he was at her premiere of her documentary about Black Lives Matter. He there. That's where I met him at. But they racist. You know, I, I want to scream. I want to scream. I want to shout. Like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't take it. They so stupid. Jason Aldean ain't a racist. And in the stupid little minds of these people, everybody ain't thinking about race. The man went to a small town. The man lived in a small town. Y'all talking about he referring to Black Lives Matter. Y'all done made Black Lives Matter worse than what it is because, well, no, I ain't made it worse. But y'all are alluding to it being worse than what you're trying to portray. He showed clips of violence and stupidity and, and all these things that people shouldn't have been doing. That's not protest. That's violence. And y'all saying he talking about Black Lives Matter. Y'all, y'all gotta be the stupidest women on planet Earth. Has to be. It, it, you have to be. You have to be the most intellectually dishonest people on planet Earth. There's nobody more dishonest than these women. I cannot stand when, when black people start talking about white people and they married to them. You you want to skip over your white man and his family, but the white man is bad. You, you, your kid don't go to an HBCU. Your kid go to Harvard, nothing but white people. And you want to kind of skip over that experience. Just stupid to me. Maybe it's Howard, Harvard. Go to Harvard, nothing but white people. Why didn't he go to HBCU? All right, I know why he didn't go to HBCU. Anyway, I'm done talking about this. I'll see y'all on the next one, bro. Like, guys, uh, uh, like, see, I'm so happy. Nothing gives me joy to see that we still have people that are that still have that sense in intact. Come on, like watching those women yab 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 yab. It was so annoying to watch, and I'm not even up to that age. How can grown old women like this decide that okay, we've sold our senses? Do you know what I'm thinking? Maybe they gathered before they before they started filming. They said, "Let's go and talk rubbish." You don't agree. You say this. You say yes. Say you are, they hate us, and you talk about black life matter. Yeah, okay, we are ready. Let's, like, because I, I don't even understand. Come on, guys, come on. Ah, that was disgusting to watch. But let me, let me know, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys, and be happy. Please have sense. Yes, don't, don't do away with your sense, please.